I used to be a, an endurance athlete, kind of on the side, a weekend warrior, but I um, skied cross-country ski marathons every year. I skied in endurance barefoot water ski tournaments. I was a runner. I did a really physically active guy and pretty strong. And uh, I woke up on August 4th of 2014 and um, with a terrible pain between my shoulder blades. I thought I must have just pulled a muscle in the barefoot tournament that I was in the day before. And uh, that went on for weeks. I couldn't do the simplest thing. I couldn't lift one leg up and balance. So I went from a guy who could barefoot five miles to I can't stand on one foot. From September on, I, I quit, quit running, I quit exercising. Um, I, went and, I went and saw a neurologist. I got brain scans and spinal taps. and um, Every test you can do and they found a lesion on my spinal cord. And they diagnosed me with a disease called transverse myelitis, really rare disease. But what it had done is it damaged my spinal cord. And what it does is it causes extreme weakness to your, all your lower extremities. It makes your skin burn, makes you hypersensitive to hot or cold, it makes it hard to breathe, your fingers and feet ache and hurt. You have extreme body fatigue. Most people with this disease, a lot of them quit working. I went to Johns Hopkins. Your spinal cord is permanently damaged. The lesion in your spine blew up and crushed the nerves around it on the spinal cord between your shoulder blades. The dam damage below is permanent. You will have all these symptoms your whole life. So everything you do to try to help yourself, your body is gonna do everything it can to stop you while you're doing it. And uh, by the time I got to David Pritchard, in would have been January, February of 2015. Um, I, could, I could do three push-ups. I couldn't run. I, I walked into his office, I said, I need your help. I can't, I, I can't do it, I, can't, I don't sleep at night. I can hardly get through a day. I'm in horrific pain all the time. My joints are, hurt so bad, I can't, I don't even know if I'll be able to keep my job at this point. And he just looked at me, and he said, uh, uh, no problem, we're going to make you stronger. I'm going to research this disease, I'm going to talk to specialists, we're going to put a plan in place. He didn't even bat an eyelash and uh, because I have kids, um, I knew that didn't matter if I didn't believe it was possible, I was going to do whatever he said because it was better than doing nothing and it was better than where I was headed. So um, no matter what, I was going to do every single thing he said. He takes me into the gym and he goes, we're going to start lifting weights. We're going to start doing real exercise. We're going to get you on treadmill, we're going to get you on a stair climber. We're going to really push you now for an hour, hour and 15 minutes each time. We're going to expand you on even more. He kept doing that and then I slowly started to get stronger. And I, you know, I'm really tired, I, I admit. There's days I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can keep doing this. But I do and I, and I, and I can because I'm, I have so much more strength than I used to. This last summer, I ran a 5K. I couldn't run a year ago, and I ran a 5K. I don't, I don't know what the, what the limit is to what I can get back. You know, I think there's limits, but it's all right. It's all your mind and your heart, what you can endure, and what you can take, and how much you want to do it. And you can get stronger. Uh, if you exercise, if you eat right, if you, if you take the necessary supplements, um, it, it's painful, but you can do it. So I would just would tell it, people like me that have this disease, don't give up, keep fighting. Find um, people that can help you. Um, get a big support network around you um, and fight, fight back.